Okay. All right, the first top secret is a 30 second video. It is a sharp display, and I mean sharp in a few different reasons, in a few different ways. It might look familiar, the video will tell you more. Hey, what is this? Hey, this is me testing out a 2.7 inch diagonal sharp memory display. These are these really beautiful, low energy, faster than e ink, but very daylight readable displays from Sharp. Um, this is the same display that's in the Playdate, you know, the yeah. little cranking game um, that's coming out shortly. And um, I found the part on DigiKey, and I thought I'd make a little breakout, and our library works with it perfectly. I just did a little bit of speed up, so you can see how small and readable the text is. Really beautiful screen. Very cool. Okay, and then next up we're going to show the Black Lives Matter learning board. Yeah. And um, I thought the other thing that's cool about this is it shows up as a USB drive, so you can put PDFs, you can have learning information, you can have specific actions, you can have a list of people that we need to make phone calls to. Um, how many days has it been since Breonna Taylor's? Uh, the murder. The no. The 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 Kentucky. The latest was the the Kentucky Attorney General. They called in the. the now they're going to have the mayor's office. Yeah. Look into it. So as long as this pandemic has been going, I know that is when Breonna Taylor was murdered at home, which is the most terrifying thing you can think of: someone kicking down the door, shooting you. And all of the things that are, this is one of the longest, worst things ever. So uh, one of the actions we have on adafruit.com slash Black Lives Matter is the places you can call, the people that you can email. Um, yeah, sure, petitions, but we have to do more than that because obviously it's not enough. Yeah. Um, so there has to be action. So look at our website. But anyways, that, that's the other benefit of this is you have a USB drive. You could put all that stuff on there. Yeah. So um, it's just it's really frustrating. And so like we're an electronics company. What can we do? It's all well. Um, here's a cool board that you could do with workshops. So what are some of the features of this? Board? Okay, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Um, so you you actually kind of tasked me with um, making a badge that's low cost. You said you want it to be like fifteen or twenty dollars. So yeah. I had to like think about how to make it inexpensive. Um, one of the things I wanted to do to make it inexpensive, and you also said you wanted it to be about three or four inches high. Yeah. So it's about four inches high. It's got a lanyard loop, so it's a it's a wearable, so you, know, you can wear it as a badge. Yeah. Um, and then uh, to make it inexpensive, I um, used alkaline batteries because they're common. Uh, I thought rechargeable batteries like, adds a lot of complexity and cost and makes it difficult to ship, whereas everyone's got AAA alkaline batteries. But when I made it with a three, you know, I, I, we wanted to use this... Um, you know, Black Lives Matters, you know, fist of justice. And when I wanted to use three AAAs, which is what I normally use to generate about 3.3 .3 volts, it ended up being way too big. So, well, actually, this is interesting. I have a boost converter, which normally I wouldn't be able to afford on a, on a board of this um, price point. I want to keep it inexpensive. But the mini boost that we just came out with, um, the chip on that, uh, the TPS610, 23 is is a very low cost boost converter and this inductor is only like 10 cents so actually the boost converter is like you know only a couple cents maybe 30 cents total in cost um so when we chat about it you're like oh yeah it's worth it to make it run on two AAA batteries this is in, a new thing i usually don't include boost converters on things but um i'm starting to find low cost versions it's got usb-c um, and in, it, it's uh, at Sam D twenty one E eighteen. It's the same as the Trinket M zero Gemma M zero. In fact, right now it's kind of programmed to think it's a Gemma. Um, it's got a light sensor that's pointing at the outside. You wanted to make it so when it got dark out, it would light up more. Yeah. Um, because we see a lot of people protesting at night. And then there's a microphone, um, a PDM microphone. So when uh, loud sounds are detected, it's people cheering. Yeah, you can you can have a. Uh, it can it can blink. Yeah. So I thought that'd be really cool. I was thinking like. What are some projects that could really inspire kids who are going to protest or want to? Um, I guess that's one other thing too. So for yeah. all for all of you tuning in at home, um, Lady and I go. You could in our Adafruit Chronicles post that we do. You can see like our our GPS route. So uh, we probably would have gone to the Union Square protest tonight, but we're doing a show. Um, we go to a lot of these protests. We've given PPE to a lot of the protesters. Um, you know, one of the things that we noticed is this is a family event. I don't if you live yeah. in if you live in a big city, this is people. This is this is why this is not just a moment; it's a movement. Um, people are bringing their kids. There's activities. There's everyone is 
listening and educating themselves about the changes that we all want to see. So we're like, well, obviously there's going to be more to this. Obviously yeah. there's, you know, there's going to be um, learn to code, make that website that, that is the thing that you want to get your actions out. Make electronics that, you know, this is, this is never going to end if we all keep working on stuff. And so I thought this would be a neat workshop thing yeah. to get more it's young designed people. designed specifically for Badger desk usage. And then there's an on off switch which is really handy for battery powered stuff because yeah. I wanted to make it so people could like turn it on and off really easily to conserve the battery. Um, and then we had a little bit of room so I put four capacitive touch switches. Um, we'll chat about this, maybe I'd have two and one's power and one's ground, I don't know, you, we, can, we can chat about what makes sense, but right yeah. now it's four capacitive touch buttons. So you could use this to change like LED modes. Um, I'm using these side light LEDs which are the same as used as the Halloween M4. Um, and that's kind of it. It's really simple. I, you know, we chatted about like, what did we like about the circuit playground, but what would imp you know make it better as a badge? And then um, it also you can't you know see it easily, but because of the way the battery is placed, it sits upright, like on a yeah, like it'll stand up. So it stands up on its own. Um, the other thing is this is the second BLM based electronics project I've seen. Um, this one I got from Tindy. And these are the Oshpark ones. It has people's name on the back where police brutality needs to be addressed. And these are their names. Say their name. If you're in New York City, you see that hashtag. You see at art. You see the people in the streets saying it and saying their names. So we wanted to have something in the electronic world. Yeah, and we'll probably well. be giving these away. So we'll do sponsorship yeah. projects. But. Um, this is kind of fun. So this is my first revision, so I just put these together last night. I have a couple mistakes, so i got to fix them, but uh, and then we're going to chat about what we want to change in it. Um, but hopefully it'll be in the shop soon. That's top secret. Don't ask. All right. <laughs>